once a proud national champion in Division I AA, to a D1 team struggling to find their identity. Last year, the Tops ended the nation's longest losing streak at 26 games, but they have yet to pull down a win on the hills since September 20, 2008. So I went to campus and posed this question. What is the state of Western Kentucky football? Last game it rained, so that wasn't very fun, but even though we lose, we seem to have a lot of fun. Belief comes first. I mean, I would attend if I actually believed. They're getting beat down, but they're not giving up, and I think if they keep going at this rate, they will eventually improve. By now, most people already know what exactly needs to change if success is our main prerogative. Maybe more of a passing game. You have the quarterback who's Butterfingers, basically. You can't really throw, can't really do much. They don't even try to pass the ball as much because um, of his lack of success. We just really, really could use a solid starting quarterback. I feel like Dowdy could be unbelievable for the program. Came on and be a great wide receiver if he'd step down and take that role. Putting the kid under center doesn't sound like a bad idea, given Jakes has no touchdowns and five picks in two games. One thing's for sure, we need someone to compliment our one shining star. I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> I have his jersey. <laughs> Bobby Rainey, he's, like, uh, he's a legend. God, getting 40 carries a game. He's, he's doing it for Western. He's hauling the load. They just need some support for him because it can't be Bobby Rainey against UK. Despite the 34-game home losing streak, students see Saturday as their best shot for victory in a long time. Hopefully we can win. I hope so. They need someone that they could, you know, whoop up on after the first couple games. They beat them before they're going to go in with the attitude that they can beat them again. So I think they have a good chance at winning. So I'm very confident going into this game against Indiana State. You know, I think they're hungry for a win, so I think they're going to really show out. Just one home win, I think that would make a huge turnaround for the Hilltoppers. Although the Tops have been outscored 54-17 to in their first two games, WKU has reason to believe that this game could be a different story. They'll be going up against Indiana State, a team that they have a 14-5 record against all time, and a defense that was outscored 41 points to Penn State two weeks ago. Reporting from Houchin Stadium, I'm Ryan Abney for the Extra Point.